and welcome to another episode of Going All In, Get the Edge You Need to Succeed. I'm Dr. Erin McKinley, and today I have for you another awesome selected segment special, this time with a question, what is one thing that you just love to see when reading an applicant's personal statement? I put together a great selection of previous episodes with directors and their comments on this particular subject since it's so important and such a vital part of grad school applications, diecast applications, and maybe even some future applications for jobs. So take a look and let us know how you enjoy it. So one thing that we like to see when an applicant uh, in their personal statement, I think what I love to see is their specific personal story is what I like to see, what makes them really interested in nutrition and why they wanna come to our particular program. Um, sometimes too, students might have struggled in a certain area. So if they have a place in their grades that maybe they're not so proud of or a time it took them longer to finish their, their program, because um, we're, we're not a school that looks specifically just at GPA. We look a lot about um, at, at a potential applicant's experience and their life experience. So I really like to see the story and how that is integrated into their academic world. I guess if you can show that you've kind of done your research and say, like, I want to come to Viterbo because that really shines because it, it, it's, it's kind of obvious when you just write a form personal statement and send it to all the internships. Um, so when you take those few extra minutes to show that you that you've taken some care, it goes a long way. Something that's memorable, uh, what they're bringing to Vanderbilt, not so much. Um, that they've copied something off our website mm. and are repeating it back, but they've really thought about why they want to be a dietitian. What is it they've got that they're going to bring to this Nashville community, to the Vanderbilt community and contribute to contribute while they're here. That's why we use the term difference makers. We're really looking for difference makers. And I agree with Diane. I also like to see people's goals um, just to know kind of what their interests are and why those might be their interests. And um, that to me is interesting to, to read about. I personally really like when a personal statement, when I finish reading a personal statement, I feel like I know that person. And I feel like especially I like it when it ties in with the rest of the whole application packet. So it seems like it flows um, and you, you know, they've spoken about their own um, background and interests in a way that makes you feel like you know them. So Amy, what you tell them what you think. I would definitely agree with that. I think, um, you know, I, I love when a personal statement truly is, is, is personable, you know, professional, but still personable so that I can finish it and think, oh, wow, I really feel like, you know, I have an idea of, of, of who this candidate is. Um, I, um, I also really love when I read through a personal statement and I can see that the candidate has really thought about what they want out of an internship program and what their professional goals are, you know, as when they become a dietitian. So they really thought that through and they know how to communicate that in their personal statement. But at the same time, they're flexible and open minded and really are just excited to learn and and be open to the new experiences that we can offer, because, um, you know, sometimes some truly unique opportunity, you know, lands in our laps and we want to be able to, to let can, you know, interns take advantage of those opportunities. So we're, we're definitely looking for interns that, um, that are going to have that initiative and self-direction and the organizational skills, you know, to, um, to, um, to be successful, um, you know, in a, in a rapidly changing environment, but also to be open-minded um, and ready to, you know, to take risks and take chances take chances and, and try out new things when opportunities arise. I have something more to add. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Maybe think about it. Um, I do feel like it's helpful when the applicant indicates the reason in a way that's clear that tie, how their experience and interests tie in with our program design. So that it feels like it's a good match for us. Agreed that what we really like to see is an intern's passion. Why um, did you want to come into this profession? Telling us, you know, when did you realize that being a dietitian was your dream job? Um, really having their personality kind of come through. And we really like it when they explain how their goals, what they want to do with their career, uh, what 
is going on in our rotations or what we have available at our facilities that can help them achieve those goals. So we really kind of start to look at that and that really gets us excited about that applicant. I think everybody has a story. And I really like when that comes out in the personal statement, especially when it connects to like why they want to be a dietitian. I often find in the personal statements, although it's one of their like required questions, it's it's like in, sometimes it's implied, but it's not actually covered. So I do like to see when that's actually like specifically addressed, like why do you want to buy a dietitian? And then what are your experiences that you've had that have led you down this path? And it is really fun to really read stories. I think we share information that's in story format and it engages people more. I typically read about 80 personal statements a year. So the more I can learn about you through that personal statement, um, I think the more enjoyable it is and also the more memorable it is. I, I like to see, as I kind of spoke before, I like to see what drives the student, what motivates the student to look toward a field of dietetics. But also I really like to see that they've looked into USJ and why they think they'd be a good match for our program. What, what drew them to our program specifically? I like to, to hear those details. And it makes me feel like they did their homework and they really can kind of, um, you know, feel that they'd be a good fit for the program. One of the things that always stands out to me is when students share a, a really memorable and relevant story about their experiences. I find that often personal statements are just sort of a reworking of um, what I might find elsewhere in the application. So they're kind of listing out qualifications, characteristics, experiences. But what really sticks with me is when a student does the show not tell, right? So they demonstrate those qualities and that experience through an example or maybe a couple of examples. And, and I really find that then I get to know the applicant a little bit more, get a better sense of of who they are as a person, not just, you know, as a resume or a piece of paper. And, and I will tell you, it, it sticks. I had an applicant who, um, the details are, are, are not really that important, but she had just submitted this wonderful uh, story about uh, a, sort of a mishap that happened that she encountered when she was working uh, a summer job in Kellogg's um, factory. And when I got to meet her at an event months later, but before you know she'd ever started the program, I said, oh, the Raisin Bran story, because that was my connection to her. And it just was really something that, fully exemplified the characteristics that she was going to bring the strengths as a student. Um, and it was so much more memorable than, you know, just a list of bullets or, or you know, a, a paragraph about, you know, these are my strengths. She just really showed it. So love that. We're looking for someone who can tell us a story that demonstrates their values, demonstrates why they want to be a part of our program. You know, when I'm working with students to help them write either a, a cover letter or these kind of applications, I always remind them, like, give us a little hook. Like we're reading lots of applications, right? We want to remember you. So, so start with a hook, something interesting. And then absolutely, if you can tell a story and making sure you're not just reworking your resume, it's definitely going to have your application stick out. A first line that captivates my attention. There's lots of applications and that's really, if you kind of have a grabber at the beginning, then it makes that reader want to read more because sometimes they start to get a little redundant, not that it's not necessarily genuine and good things, but I think kind of putting something very unique and, and captivating in that first line is really important. I'll give you an example of one that I still remember from a couple of years ago. Um, and it started with, there I was running through the sidewalks of Manhattan with my arms full of boxes, couldn't see around them. Like, and I was like, oh, how does it end? Tell me more. And, and so that was something that always stuck with me and now something that I still kind of look for. Stories that, and I say stories, right? Because we all know that actually people follow stories more than they follow advice. If, if it's to, to, taught to them sometimes in a story, they're going to follow it. I think stories that connect why you think our program is a good fit for you really um, highlights that the committee really likes to know that you've thought about what that would look like for you. Um, and stories that kind of give us a picture of what you're like as a person. And of course, that answer the actual questions that were asked. <laughs> we do we do have, um, we do kind of get a stickler on making sure that you've gone through the questions that were asked. 
I love the, the personal statements because this is where you really get to speak beyond your resume and tell us who you are. And I really want to feel the applicant's authenticity through that uh, letter. And there are letters that you read that you feel are just going through the motions. They're responding to the questions as, you know, as indicated, we want you to hear about your strengths and weaknesses. We want to, you know, hear about your resilience and, and all of these things are very important, but I want to be able to genuinely feel your authenticity and also your passion. Um, but I also want to know why you are choosing my program, because that is something I, you know, I think that a lot of candidates also will, um, you know, just write blanket statements and there is a reason that you are choosing this program to apply to. And we wanna hear why. We wanna know how our program is going to help shape you as a future dietitian. So um, authenticity, but I also want to hear more about why us. I think that is so important because there are so many different programs out there. Um, so what made you settle on, on us to apply to? By looking at the application, you can only get so much from, you know, reading something like that. And the, the letter really provides you an opportunity to discuss maybe, you know, something on your application that it can't describe for us, you know. So it really gives the person an opportunity to share with us, you know, what they might have went through or just really being genuine. And I really enjoyed feeling like I got to know, um, you know, the people that are writing these a little bit more than actually way more than what the actual like psychist applications can give us. So that's, that's really what I enjoyed about reading them this semester. Um, we do ask for students to write about their short-term and long-term career goals. And I like, I like to read that. I, so it's more, it's more about reading about their goals and not just following the directions, but I like to see what they want to achieve in their future, like in the short term and then in the long term too. Do you like when students kind of follow the same question format as Dykus, since that kind of reveals a lot more information about the students' why, like their why for dietetics? Or does um, it not matter? It, it really doesn't matter. Like they can tell us why, you know, what I like to see too is like, do they know about our program? Why they want to go into dietetics? What are their short, their career aspirations? So I want to be able to, to know, get a little bit of feeling for the student. Can I know a little bit about them from this personal statement? One nice thing is that on the committee, we have a mix of faculty, practitioners, so you're getting different perspectives. I think uh, the group likes to see within the letter that you've thought about Rush and you've looked into, enough, into it enough to know that it's a good match for you and has what you're most looking for. Um, I, we also like to see, Mark talked about it a little bit, but that you've done some outside activities along with academics. We know not everyone can get food service or clinical experience, but that you're either have had to work or have gotten involved in some uh, organizations, shown some leadership, uh, even sports involvement just shows that you're able to take on other things and uh, multitask as you're going through the program. Um, so I'd say that's a couple things, but we really do look at the whole package. We have no absolutes where you have to get a certain something or we don't look at the packets. Um, so those are a couple of things that I like to see. Make sure that the personal statement, uh, tell us about yourself. Um, tell us what you think we should know, not what you think we wanna hear. Because I think that's something that students do often um, is they, they think, about the person reading it and not about themselves. Um, it's okay to talk about yourself. Explain to us why you want to be here. Why do you want to be at Rush? Uh, with that being said, sometimes you can't use the same letter for multiple programs because that that, that comes across very clearly uh, to us as the reviewers. So I can tell you how everybody starts their personal statement and then maybe you'll want to start it a different way. <laughs> so I feel like every personal statement I read says, 
growing up in South Louisiana, you know, we love to eat. And now my family has diabetes, so I want to be a dietitian. And that's pretty much what most of my personal, what I read. So if you can say something maybe other than that, like, you know, obviously that might be what brought you to the career or to the field. Or if you have any personal experience with nutrition, you know, maybe you've had your own battles that you've dealt with, or um, maybe, you know, you were a college athlete and you saw how nutrition helped you or whatever it may be. Something that that is very individual to you um so definitely like why you want to be a dietitian but then also why you want to be an intern at north oaks you know i want to know that you've actually looked at our program and thought about our program and you know the rotations that we're offering and that that's something you desire that it's not just like oh well it's close to home you know that you've actually looked at our program and it's a good fit for you because maybe your goal is to be a WIC dietitian, and we don't even offer a rotation in that. So that just doesn't really make sense. So, um, you know, in your personal statement, tell me a little bit about who you are, what brought you to nutrition, and then why do you want to come to our program? I really want to see what makes you stand out as a candidate, what makes you different, what is your interest, you know, um, why are you interested in nutrition and what makes you different? I mean, it's really your chance to sell me on why you're a fantastic candidate. And so I really like it when students use that opportunity to tell me what's fabulous about you, because I'm sure there's so many great things that you have to uh, share with me. Sure. I, I love to see um, uh, interns that um, uh, show their flexibility, show their willingness to adapt to whatever situation, that um, show their um, areas that they feel they need improvement or areas that they feel that they're really good at. Um, I think that helps us see how they might respond in a new situation. And um, uh, one thing I see a lot is a lot of students don't put in their a lot of their applications, uh, everything that they've accomplished. So we um, we definitely love to see people explain what they've done in areas that that are um, specialized and unique. There's a couple of things. So a personal statement really speaks about you. It lets me know who you are. And so telling me who you are is really important. Giving me um, history of like, what's your food philosophy? Why are you going to become a dietitian? You know, those aspects about you lets me know, you know, your personality kind of gives me a little bit more about you, but also that you've looked into our program. Um, so putting something about you enough and our program in your personal statement really stands out because it shows that you took the extra step to actually research our program and to know that our program, you know, is the right fit for you because we have this, this, and this, you know, you're not just applying and sending the same application to several different schools. You know, I want to make sure that you look and saw that our program fits you. So I think those are really important things I look for. I love humor, <laughs> if you have any. Uh, so if you can make me laugh when I'm reading uh, a personal statement, that's awesome. Uh, because it helps me remember you. I'll never forget. Also individualized experiences. I can think of one example uh, from a long time ago, probably over 10 years ago. Now the, the applicant wrote about a research project that she had and she was given a pig to put on a treadmill and she had never had a pet before. And then she wrote about her experiences of and responsibility of having to take care of this pig for this research project. So again, it was probably more than 10 years ago and I still remember it because it stuck out. So I think um, that's important in a, a director remembering your application and I, be honest, tell us really why you're, what you're interested in and what your passions are. I kind of, I love to see a little bit about their journey and, and personally what, why nutrition is important to them. Um, and not everybody has to have a great story. So I'm not looking for you to, you know, have had this momentous moment in your life that drew you into nutrition, but I do like to know your journey and your path and your story and why you're interested. Um, obviously as somebody who has to look at a lot of applications reading things that aren't dry and boring is really helpful to engage to engage the reader a little bit and and again i think that's where your personal journey and story um, is handy but in every application i really like to see your strengths and your weaknesses we all have them so i like to see those addressed 
And um, I will say the personal statement is a great place to address those things that you might know are coming in your application that don't look so favorable upon yourself. So if you got a D in a class and had to retake it, um, cool, it happens to all of us, but why? Like what happened? Why, you know, like address that. If you know that you've got a recommendation that might be less than, than stellar or not what you want, um, or you know that there's something that your professors have told you over and over again, you need to work on, I, you know, we wanna know about it. So just um, don't think that by not talking about those things, that that's, that's good. We, you know, again, we all have weaknesses. So wanna know what yours are. So I love to, for a personal statement to really paint a picture. I want to be able to read that personal statement and be able to visualize in my head what the student is talking about. So if the student is talking about helping family members with their health or being exposed to health issues in their family, I want to be able to sort of see the student alongside their family members, helping them and guiding them through their their health situations that they're having, or if they went, they themselves went through something traumatic in their life or just something impactful in their life, I want to be able to visualize it. So I want to be able to hear it and to see it so that I remember that personal story uh, in their personal statement. So that's what I like to see. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that a hundred percent. And then also making sure that uh, we, you know, at Meredith, we have certain questions that we want to, we want our prospective students to answer in their personal statement. So just making sure that they are actually going through and answering those questions. You know, why do you want to, you know, come to Meredith College? What, what is important mm -hmm. to you about our program? Or why do you want to apply to a program, be a part of our program? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, making sure that they're thoroughly answering that question. But yes, 100%, I think what separates a student's personal statement is their story and, and really telling their story. Yes. And it. Mm -hmm. It's funny when I read the personal statements, it's almost like doing an assessment as a dietitian. There's just certain things that stick out to me. One of the things that I really like to see is, of course, when I'm looking through the application, one of the first things I like to look at is just habit is the GPA, not because it's defining, because it's just where I like to start and just get an idea. And then I like to go look at the, the, their personal statements and really see did they make it specific to make me so it's helpful? And also if they felt like they have a GPA that's not very indicative of how they are as a student, are they willing to basically address that? You know, did they veer off because they weren't uh, dedicated and then they figured out what they wanted to do and they kind of changed their track and were able to get serious and all those kind of things. I think also being very, open to if they have any discrepancies. I just like to see them very personal. Sometimes they seem very bland, like they're just very generic. I like to make them, I like to really feel like they're really writing this because they're to a McNeese applicant person. I hope to see that they've researched Marywood so that they have an understanding that it's a good fit for them. Um, we have a, information on our website. We have some testimonials. You can meet some of the interns. Um, their bios and their pictures are up there. That research can really help you have a good understanding that we're a good match for you, like Megan shared that she did. I love to see their journey. You know, what brought them in to dietetics, their passion for the profession, where do they see themselves going? Um, what are their goals, short term and long term? Um, and at that point, you know, your goals are definitely going to change as you do the internship, but I love being able to see where people um, want to be and then where they end up after the internship. I think that's just the, a, a great process to watch. I make notes on my rubric when I'm reading personal statements about like, a, a, you know, it's personal where they've, they've taken some type of experience that they've had, and it doesn't have to be like life altering by any means, but it just makes such a bigger impact than I, I would say I'm a very type a person than a type a person written personal statement, which is like, I checked all the boxes and I have everything in there that I needed to cover, but you're able to do that in, in, in a way that really makes you stand out if you're able to relate it to, to something. So even just starting with a quote, you know, the Hippocrates quote, um, like let food be thy medicine, medicine be thy food. I've had individuals start with something like that, 
or I've had individuals talking about a journey that they've had with um, maybe an eating disorder and, you know, the cake, the cake at their, like the cake was never a problem. And then it became a problem. And I'm happy to say now, now that I'm in this field, I can eat the cake. It's like something like that just stands out or have, you know, people who are in dance and and just some of the, they kind of walk you through a story. So I think the more that you can relate it to you as a person, you know, growing up and having a garden with your grandmother, like just, it could be anything. And it just, to me, when I'm reading it, it makes you pop. It really helps you stand out. So if you can have something that uh, connects to you as an individual, that's really what I I love reading those personal statements. Um, So that's really what stands out to me is more of a personal feel to it. The good interpersonal skills and um, organized interns and with good communication skills, excuse me. I feel like those things all sort of tie together and that really comes through on on a good, well-written personal statement. Um, you know, we've seen many personal statements where they're just kind of all over the place, but um, when an intern is able to sort of organize their thoughts, tell their story, um, talk about the ways that they are able to have an impact um, on, on their world and the, the people around them, um, we just feel like that demonstrates that they're good communicators. Yep. And then um, to add to that, we just love seeing um, sort of tying things into Lanyap. How do you bring something extra, Um, something that makes you stand out among all the other personal statements that we're reading? Um, And then also, you know, having an honest and authentic personal statement. Um, So as Robin has, has talked about, you know, GPA isn't everything. And maybe sometimes your GPA isn't quite where you want it well why not let's talk about that and and you know just kind of talk about your um your true background and uh and why you want to be an rd and just really authentic information there so that's some more we like to see most important thing that i want to see and i believe chrissy would agree in reading a personal statement is to feel that it's coming from the applicant's heart. It's not really so important of what they did. It's really important to show that they really care and that they're being authentic with whatever they're writing in their personal statement. So that's the most important. And the second part is for the applicant to explain why are they, apply- why are they applying to the Complete Business Dietetic Internship? What part of the, of the internship are they interested do they have that entrepreneurial spirit or do they want to learn more about private practice or what, what's drawing them to the program? To go along with what Beryl said, I am personally just someone who speaks straight from my heart. Um, I naturally am just like very passionate about all the things that I'm doing right now. So that's my best advice is, you know, care and then communicate how much you do care about what you're talking about Don't try to just put down on paper what you think a director wants to hear. Um, Really speak from like where you are coming from and what you care about. Our our applications are reviewed by all of our faculty. And so Ms. Hogan and I are actually gonna both answer these questions if that's okay, since since everybody gets to see all of the the applications. Um, I look for a couple of things. I look to make sure that you've addressed the questions that are in our application packet that you are, why do you want to come to Louisiana Tech? Does it look like you know where you're actually sending the letter? Um, I understand that students are sending multi, you know, most students are applying to multiple programs. And so, um, you know, recreating the the wheel on all of those personal um, statements, um, I don't expect you to rewrite a whole letter, but at least a sentence or two in there that says that you understand where the letter is applying to. Um, I've seen um, letters, and I know this is this is something that you've asked. You know, if there's there's kind of a red flag, or if there's something that we that kind of is a negative thing. But if a student um, has the wrong school written on their <laughs> their personal letter, you know, I'm really interested in you know this university, and it's not Louisiana Tech University. Um, you know, the, I like to see that they at least 
um, have, have looked at our program or concisions and how they think that they're a good fit for us. And I encourage students to understand that it's an app, you know, it's an application process both ways that, you know, really make sure that you think you're a good fit for our program in addition to us thinking you're a good fit for our program. So it's, it's, a, it's both ways. Really focus on the fact that it is a personal statement and we like to hear some personal stories. Why? do you want to become a dietitian? Maybe, you know, there's been some type of life experience that you have had that has led you to where you are now. Um, and maybe not, you know, it's okay if you don't have that one big story, but um, make it personal. And just like Dr. Green said, we want to know that you are interested in Louisiana Tech, it's, you know, itself. And so put a little tidbit about the university or the area in there to let us know that you've done your research and uh, you're aware of, of what your surroundings will be and what's offered at Louisiana Tech? It is that you know um, about my program, right? You can, you can say, hey, I watched a podcast and learned that your program is this. And, you know, it's when you are coming from outside of the University of Kentucky, I, the, the risk is whether or not you know about the program, because if I accept you and you come in and thinking that you're going to be in Lexington and, you know, on a campus for seven months, right. You've got a, that's a hard conversation to have. Um, and so you should want to be in a broad program um, and, you know, understand that you could be placed anywhere in the state of Kentucky. Um, you know, so if you can demonstrate that, you have done a little bit of due diligence and a little bit of research on the program. Um, I, that goes a very long way. No, it doesn't seem like it, it matters how much I talk about it in, in my recruitment. And I don't see it that often. And so you really, really will set yourself apart. You know, we have a, a committee um, and everyone on the committee, it's like, Hey, this person actually seems like they know our internship and, and, because if, if you aren't able to communicate that, then I don't know how excited you might be about this program, right? As I mentioned, because we don't do um, interviews, that, that personal statement is really important to us. Um, what I want to see there is a student's kind of, as much as can, a personality come out on paper, um, but also their passion and, and why they're interested in dietetics. Um, and then the other thing that I really like to see and really sets applications apart is when you specifically tailor it towards our program. And so tell me, why are you interested in coming to KU Medical Center? Um, what, why do you think that you would be a good match for our program? And so when I see that, that makes me stop and take notice. Seeing what the interns can bring to our program or what they can bring to the field of dietetics. So I think, you know, I was talking to Crystal earlier. One of the things that we often see is they always talk about how they became interested in the field of nutrition or in the field of dietetics. And those become very similar after a while, as far as those statements. Um, you know, it's usually a family member that may have diabetes or a family member has cardiac disease. But I think what really grabs my attention as a program director is what can you offer to our program that is different than some other interns? So, um, or explaining more of your story to us of what you can bring to our program. You know, we had an intern that her grades weren't very good in her DPD program. And she wrote and explained that by her brother having a car accident when she was in college and was killed in this accident. And, but then she went on to explain that she was in a master's program and was receiving top honors in a master's program in dietetics. And so, you know, that really, um, and then she pressed on to explain about how you know, she overcome those challenges and how she pressed on and moved forward and, you know, um, improved her grades and, you know, graduating with honors in her master's degree. And so that, that shows a lot about what that person is going to bring to our program. But if I wouldn't have seen that in that personal statement, then I looked at just the DPD grades that would have an understanding of why her DVD grades were showing up the way that they were and what she has done to get to where she is today. 
reviewed a few of the things that we'd like to see answered in our um, applicants' personal statements, but we really like to see their passion come through in the personal statement, their passion for the field of dietetics and why they are applying to our program specifically. So um, what we also like to see on personal statements is their passion come through and activities that they have been engaged in that sets them apart, whether as part of their curriculum or outside of church or other activities. We've had students who have highlighted their accomplishments in um, um, sports and athletics that has set them apart. We have had uh, students who applied um, to admission trips that they have been passionate about. So all of those need to come through in the person's statement. Things that set you apart, it could be in any area that reflects your passion and your dedication. What I would want to see um, is something that sets the student apart. Um, I would also like to see that connecting to the organization's mission. So how those two things connect um, and the ability to put that into writing is really something that I would love to see. Well, the first thing I look for is to make sure that they answer all the prompts, <laughs> that they can follow directions. Um, I also really like to see that they've made a clear connection between their career interests and our program concentration. Um, just a few sentences, you know, kind of articulating how it is that their future interests, their job interests will tie in with health advancement and promotion. Um, the other thing I really like to see is that they've done their research on our institution and our program. So they know what you can tell they know what they're talking about throughout the letter. Um, so they can really articulate why they have an interest in our program and, and our university. Something that I really uh, get excited to see is that there's evidence in your personal statement that you've taken the time to do a little investigation about our program. Um, and you are aware enough that it makes it sound like you have interest and you have a good fit for us. Um, there are times, unfortunately, that I get personal statements that have other universities listed or aspects that are clearly not associated with us that they have maybe, you know, got from somewhere else. Um, so I just love to see that someone's taken the time and individualized a personal statement that says, I am, I actually know what your program is about and I'm interested in it. Really love to see is that they've done their homework. Uh, they describe why they think our internship is the right internship for them. And I really want my interns to be happy and feel like the program that they've matched to is the right one for them. Uh, when I see somebody's essay and it's just, I want to be a dietitian, and it doesn't say why this program, why public health nutrition, why um, this matches up with your career goals. If I see somebody's really thorough about that and they've really like, like read our website and know the materials for the program and know what, what everything's about, um, that's a big plus. We, we understand that not all students know what they want to do with their degree. We don't expect that you, you have just, you know, laser vision and this is exactly what you want to do. Part of the beauty of dietetics, I would argue, is that there is so much we can do with, with our, um, within our profession. But what we do want to see in that letter is, is something about you. We want to get to know you as a student a little bit better. Um, it's your chance to tell us why you enjoy certain aspects of the profession or why you might've struggled with something and then what you learned from it. I, and, and honestly, some of our best letters give us a new understanding and appreciation of our applicant's journey. So I like to see something that tells me who you really are beyond a, a reiteration of your resume that's also attached to the DICAS application. If it's your resume in, in paragraph form, that doesn't tell me anything else. I want to know who you are, what drives you to study nutrition, and um, specifically why you chose our program. I, we always laugh that we get students who say that they want to work in nutrition support and they apply to our public health program. And I think, well, I'm glad that you're honest, but maybe that's not the best fit. Um, so I want to really get to know you. Helen, what do you think? I will uh, reiterate about uh, not in the personal statement is don't make it a repeat of your um, resume. We've, we've taken a look at that and we go line by line on that. I also like to see some sort, again, of, of, of 
a, a picture of you of um, what makes you thrive? What are, what are your interests? Um, what do you think your communication skills are? Or do you have some sense of resilience or how you've adapted to a situation? So to give examples of, of that as opposed to just reiterating what's on your resume. Kind of going back to just being well-rounded. So again, I know that the sports nutrition is a big draw. Um, but if all I see is that you've done exercise fizz and you know what I mean? Like you haven't really ventured out into the world of dietetics and you've just been in this little corner of sports. Um, I like to see somebody who's really looked at the bigger picture of dietetics because it is a gigantic field. Um, the amount of knowledge that we're required to have. Um, and I think you need to see the bigger picture in order to even just do well in your one little corner. So that's kind of what I'm looking for is that you've, um, the experience, whether it's volunteering, whether it's going to seminars, whatever it is that you've kind of branched out. And, uh, you know, I always tell my students, you've got to get into the unknown in order to improve yourself. So I want to see that you've gotten into some areas that maybe you're not as comfortable with, you know, other than the sports side or just the clinical side. I know food service is not everybody's favorite, but, um, you know, getting some of that experience that there's a reason why we have the three main branches of dietetics is because they're all interrelated. And there's really not, especially sports nutrition, guess what that involves? A lot of food service, a lot of community, and the clinical and sports side. So. Thanks again for checking out this episode. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode of this amazing podcast. And we'll see you next time.